codependency issues. How do you fix them using NLP? And it would be helpful if you watch last week's video, which explains what is codependency, where does it come from, um, uh, what causes it. And if you already have done an NLP training, or more specifically a full immersion training of NLP practitioner and master practitioner, then you start to realize that all the root causes of codependency can really be worked on using NLP or hiring one of my former students. If you need a coach uh, who can work with you on this, just fire me a note, um, globalnlptraining.com. Or you can actually take a training as well, right? So you can work on your codependency issues in the training. And we train here on Bali, we train in Mexico, Venice Beach, Miami, Amsterdam. So what is it that you could do to fix codependency by watching a YouTube video or by watching an Instagram video? Is there something quick and easy that you can do? And so in the next three weeks, I'm going to present you with some tools that hopefully provide you some insight into how to coach this, uh, how to self coach this. And for this particular exercise, it would help if you uh, grab the pen and a piece of paper first. Okay, so pause the video, go get it. Um, and I want you to think about a symbolic moment uh, where your codependency issue uh, took place. So I want you to dig around your memory bank for a second. And was there this event? And, um, and, and, and is that the event? And so when you take that event, um, I want you to close your eyes because you probably visualize better that way. If not, you can also keep them open, no problem. And I want you to play a dissociated movie. And what that means in NLP terms, a dissociated movie means that you watch a movie of yourself in this particular memory and you watch it looking at yourself, which means that the emotions are inside the movie. You're actually in an observer perspective and you're like a scientist. Let's say you're like a psychologist or like a, a person who is watching a complete stranger and doing an assessment. And you're doing it from a place of wisdom, not of codependency or stuckness. You're doing it, you may as well be watching a stranger. And I want you to, to watch that movie from this point of view and, and kind of see and hear what's going on and kind of sense and analyze it. And, and when you've watched that movie, then just come back to this video. And so the next thing I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes again, or if you have them already closed, then keep them closed, is I want you to ask your gut or your intuition or your internal sense, your internal knowing a question. And I'm not so much interested in your logical thought here, your reasoning, pros and cons, analysis, all that good stuff. Not interested in that voice. Your intuition tends to not speak in language right away. It tends to speak in a, in a feeling. It tends to, to speak in uh, maybe an image or another memory or it's just a sense, an awareness. And so I want you to ask that part of you, maybe you can even literally locate that part of you on the inside of your body. Some people feel that in the stomach or in your chest or somewhere else. Could you locate that part of you that, that stays in that relationship no matter what? And I want you to ask it a question. And what I want you to ask it is, what is the positive intent that you get out of this? What, what is it that you, what's the positive value that you're meeting by staying inside this relationship that isn't good for you? And for most people, the answer relates to security, protection, uh, safety. 
but it can also be things like love or acceptance. It doesn't sound like fear of abandonment. Uh -uh, that's like, that's not a value. We're looking for this, the, the unconscious mind actually speaks in positive terms, not in negative terms. You're probably listening to your logical mind. If you have a lot of logical override right now, that's no problem. That what may help is if you float that part of you that is in a codependent, has codependency issues outside of you. You could even imagine that it's right here in front of you. Does it look like anything? Does it sound like anything? And if you were to touch it, does it have a texture? Does it have a temperature, a size? Now ask that part of you, now living outside of you, that same, same question. What's the positive intent that are you motivated by? What's the positive thing? Okay. So now there is an answer. And I, I want you to write that down at uh, the bottom of a piece of paper. Okay? So this, I can promise you, you need to meet this uh, value in your life first in order to solve this problem. Okay? So this is already a nugget. I could consider this a pattern in itself. Yeah. But what I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes again and ask that positive, positive intent. What do you connect into? What does it lead to? What does it bring that is more important and bigger than that? And again, listen to what your unconscious gut, that part of you has to say. What does it connect into or value that is more important and bigger than that? And then write that word down. That's again a value. It brings you something that is bigger. Now, I want you to keep doing that until you're actually all the way to source, to God, to the universe, that you can't go any bigger, right? And so you can pause the video and you can complete the chain. And when you have completed a chain, you're at probably the top of the page or a few steps in. Some people are six steps in, some is three steps in, sometimes more. It depends on how far you're disconnected from wholeness or God or source by your codependency issues. And don't let that sort of like throw you off balance. You can still fix this underlying issue. But I want you to complete all those steps and you can stop the video now and go do that. Okay, so, so now you've completed the whole chain. And when you look at this chain that has come also from the lessons of watching the dissociated movie, the lessons that you've learned there, you've consulted your unconscious mind, you actually also taught your brain how to step out of that emotion briefly, and you now see the stepping stones. And this, these are the stepping stones to your wholeness. Does that make sense? So you need to start fulfilling the very first value or positive intent that you have on your piece of paper at the bottom first. Through that, you'll get the next step. Through that, you have the next step. And through that, you have the next step. And through that, you have the next step. And that's the way that you can reach for a wholeness in the end. And, and you know, and if you actually achieve that wholeness in the end, then you may as well be dead. Because I promise you, most of the problems and disconnects that you have is a particle that is inside of you disconnected from that sense of wholeness. And you need to complete all of those individual chains um, until you reach wholeness. Does that make sense at all? And so uh, these particles often were already created very young in childhood. Um, but these are the stepping stones in your life to greatness. From good to great. See you around.